from the USA getting you paid every day. This is the boss of Bitcoin, the Cristo of crypto. It's your boy BK. And if you don't like me, you must not like money. Uh, today is August 1st. Uh, Bitcoin, $207. Guess what? Bitcoin cash coming in strong. $520. And as you can see from that thumbnail, uh, we have ourselves a nice little red wedding. You know, um, if if you guys watch Game of Thrones, you know that scene where, you know, till death do we part, you know, one of these things is going to give and one's going to be left standing tall. And right now, you know, the jury is still out. I think a lot of people, probably 80, 90 percent of the market thought Bitcoin cash, you know, would have been and hit the floor right now. But we're going to get into a, a few charts a little bit later just to walk through the basics with you guys. Um, you know, but you can see it. This thing is holding strong. Again, if this is your first time tuning in, let me tell you something. You are now rocking with the best. Uh, my name is Brandon Kelly. They call me the BK the Crypto Trader and I am the boss of Bitcoin in so much. You can go to www.bossofbitcoin right now uh, and, and, and see a little bit about what we do. As you see right there on the right hand side, just in the past 30 days, we've had about 3,000 new subscribers, about 5,000 uh, people in our Facebook group. And we will show you those communities in a little bit to give you a heads up. We are global and every day on this channel somebody is getting paid. So with that being said, all you got to do, if this is your first time tuning in and you want to get some money, all you got to do next time, get here a little bit earlier and um, we will sure uh, jump in, you know, throw out a question of the day, jump on in and pick a winner. And just that simple. It is uh, one of the things that we did uh, was I try to make it fun. I try to make it lively. I try to make it entertaining and exciting. And so, um, we asked a question about Game of Thrones, right? We got some Game of Thrones fans out there. And my question to you guys is who is going to be the next Game of Thrones character to die? Let's see what you guys said. Let's see what you guys said. I see Cersei all over the place, but I don't think she going. I don't think she going. I don't think she go go. Who do we, who do we think? Who do we think? Who do we think? Wow. Let's see. <laughs> Nobody will die. It will be peace in the kingdom. No. No. That's not what happens. No. Never. <laughs> Let's go with my man Joseph. Right up here said John Snow. I don't even know how he's going to die, technically. He already died once. But, you know, that's cool. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? So this is what we do right now. I'm going to uh, post your picture in our Facebook group and jump right back and uh, get to this video. So, John, John Snow uh, from my man Joseph, I'm about to post, post your picture in our Facebook group. I will be right back. Okay, so here we are back at a trade and view. And again, this is a tradingview.com. There's a link in the description called How to Chart Like a Boss. Uh, it will walk you through uh, the steps of setting up a new account and also using uh, the trend lines and simple moving averages uh, that we have here. Um, if you notice, one of the things about this chart is uh, I've changed it a little bit um, in the sense that. You know, I have a lighter background now. Um, that's no biggie. But one of the things I have done is I've completely taken out the candles. Um, now I only have the trend lines, and this is because I don't. I don't on a on a longer range on a bigger scale. I don't really care about the candles. I don't care if it's you know um, trading above or below the trend line. All I care about are these intersections. And that's what you've seen uh, on all of our videos. So this is like, I think a major improvement to our strategy. Um, nobody else is doing this on YouTube. So that's another reason why I'm doing it. Um, because a lot of people really don't understand how the mechanics of uh, mathematics work. Um, so I'd rather not make the same mistakes they're making. All I care about is the movement, momentum, 
intersections and relationship of these three lines. Seven, 77, and a 21. Seven, two, one, seven, seven. Those are three lines. So this is Bitcoin dot. This is Bitcoin right now. And you can see a couple things. First thing, all the way back here is the same chart we've been looking at, you know, for three months now. Uh, broke out right there. Broke down. Air. And now we've just been kind of trading sideways, consolidating in this zone right there, right? Um, and so let's focus on this area because this is the most relative, most recent information we have. Uh, what is very, very um, intriguing, I will say, is that we... Uh, I want to identify where Bitcoin Cash came out because what needed to happen um, did not happen. And so today, we can say for all parts of it, Bitcoin Cash came out right there. And everybody thought, not everybody, but you know, a lot of people thought that when Bitcoin Cash came out, myself included, I thought this, when Bitcoin Cash comes out, you know, it's gonna be all this free money on the market, not necessarily free money, but more so inflated currency. A lot of people think they're fucking economics PhDs and try to correct me on my, my grammar. So uh, trust me, I understand inflation and I understand what fake money is. So that's basically what we had is fake money um, come out. But, you know, this chart, it didn't, it didn't do what it needed to do in order for Bitcoin to be much stronger. In fact, Bitcoin is very, very, very weak right now. Um, and the major reason why is because it had this new currency come out and essentially zap uh, a lot of market share from it. Look at that. Almost identical um, at the moment in itself, you know. It's almost like the market was waiting just to collapse the minute Bitcoin Cash came out. And this is why, you know, you guys see in the title, this is what I wanted to begin to discuss. Cause we can see, you know, on, on our on our chart right here, um, Bitcoin dropped, let's say, let's see. We can go back on this thing. We can go back. It was 820 my time. That uh what's the name happened? Actually, I think it was right there because this thing is the wrong time zone. Let me check the time zone real quick. Make sure. New York, no, we good, we good, we got it. Okay. So yeah, today at 8.20. But check this out though. All right, so roughly right about there. Right, so the market had already decided very confidently before Bitcoin Cash came out that Bitcoin still needed to go down. And this is obvious by both trend lines crossing at the exact same dollar amount. Um, so the market had already decided before Bitcoin Cash even came out. But what is even more uh Parent is when you look at the yen, the Bitcoin yen, and this is uh, one of the biggest things I wanted to wanted you guys to come off this call understanding is that China controls the market. It's not Americans, you know. We're we're so stupid. We're still caught up in this dollar and still throwing our money on Wall Street and in our four hundred one k. So it's not us. But a uh, Chinese currency has been intentionally devalued for quite some time. So they are much more receptive and much more responsive to Bitcoin. And so much that they threw down 8% on the market, right? Look at that swing uh, high to low right there in itself. And again, this is just the inner day range. So the candles were probably like 
all the way down there. But I don't want that. I just want the swing. 11%. And what this tells me right now is after we loop up and loop back down, because this thing is still going down. Don't think, don't think, you know, China didn't change its mind. This thing is just looping up so it could loop right back down. Um, what this tells me is that they don't, they don't, you know, a lot of them don't care about Bitcoin. Bitcoin Cash is their Bitcoin. So essentially they're cashing out of our currency, American currency, um, and cashing into their own. And that's why Bitcoin Cash has not hit the floor like many Americans who thought it was a scam coin because they didn't understand it, you know. Um, that's why it hasn't hit the floor because they don't want our Bitcoin. And so essentially what we have is, is the red wedding. One of these coins is going to live and one is going to die. Till death do we part. Um, if they continue to compete against each other like this, because essentially this is a direct competition. This is China saying, we don't want your money. We'd rather put it in our own money. Um, so essentially we do have a direct, direct competition, a confrontation. Um, now, if something happens and Bitcoin is able to reposition itself and Bitcoin Cash is able to position itself, you know, as a complement as opposed to a competitor, then, you know, it, it, it fits better in that city that we we put yesterday. But if something like this is happening, then it can't be two suns. You know, <laughs> there is only one sun. It could be a few moons, but it can only be one sun. So. Um, it's very, very interesting to look inside these charts. And I remember I was looking at this this morning with this little, uh, chat group I'm in and I'm like, this isn't good. You guys, this is not good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We need Bitcoin to be like up here somewhere, you know, going up, going up, you know, and China selling, China selling. So I think what's happened is, is again, there is a global, uh, you know, divide now between Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash. Um, and Bitcoin Cash is not a scam coin. It's basically a currency that an entire country supports. One of the biggest superpowers in the world supports. So, so don't 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 read the Reddit trolls and think it's a scam coin just because you don't understand it. And in fact, the tech technology behind it, the capabilities of it, is better than Bitcoin. It's faster than Bitcoin. It's cheaper than Bitcoin. Um, so, you know, for all, for all definitions of it, you know, as we can see on this chart in day one, it, it, time will only tell, but right now it's not looking good for BTC. And so that's what I wanted, uh, you guys to look at. Um, if, uh, we start to understand the psychology of these markets, um, and I don't want to make it a China, you know, China USA thing, but in actuality, uh, it's kind of hard for it not to be. And and this is not us. This is not like Brandon Kelly on his YouTube channel creating a global divide. Like, no, no, guys, that's not how the world works. That's not how the universe works. This is energy that was manifested probably thousands of years ago, hundreds of years ago, very easily, very easily, hundreds of years ago, um, if not thousands. You know, even even recently in, in, you know, the past two, three decades, it's been huge, 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 huge uh, internal uh, conflicts and confrontations. So this is the outcome of an equation that started long before I ever put a microphone and plugged it in the YouTube.com, right? Uh, all I do is look at the charts and understand how everything is manifesting itself through and throughout these charts. And that's what we have. That's what we have. We have two countries with two currencies, um, but somehow they need to come together to fit together in the same ecosystem, right? Because right now it's not working. It's almost like one is detracting from the other. Um, and that's what I showed in the beginning with this price, uh, because essentially in order to break out, Bitcoin needed to be $3,200. That would have broken us out. Well, guess what? If you add those two numbers up, it's actually above $3,200. But because it's subdivided out now in a separate entity, you know, it's weaker than ever before. And so that's how we have to start looking at this market uh, to understand the capabilities. Um, 
and the consequences of, of when things like this happen. Now, now from a speculative standpoint, right? Uh, do I think Bitcoin Cash is gonna flop to the floor? No, I never thought that. Um, Intentionally, I did not come on here and say buy it, sell it, trade it, you know, because I did not want to be accountable for any of your dollars based on speculation. I read the charts. I don't gamble. So the more I see into the charts, the more I'm able to understand it. But the minute I saw this, um, then I knew we were in a completely different situation. The minute I saw 10% off the top uh, within the opening moments of, uh, you know, this fork right here. I knew it was a different situation. So uh, knowing that and knowing that Bitcoin is going to continue to go down, what it looks like is we have an inverse relationship between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, at least for the time being. Uh, if, but if Bitcoin continues to go down, at the end of the day, Bitcoin Cash is still an altcoin. And when Bitcoin goes down, after a while, the entire well dries up. So it's going to come a point in time to where the point of parity is too much. And as a result, Bitcoin Cash goes down. Bitcoin is still the sun right now and today. And when the sun goes across the horizon, everything on the planet gets cold. That's the easiest way to think about it. Um, so just pay attention to Bitcoin, understand that Bitcoin Cash is an altcoin of Bitcoin that probably will have a three, uh, uh, probably between a 12 and a, and a three to one, you know, five to one relationship, probably as high as three, you know, midterm five, interquartile, for those of you statisticians, interquartile range, uh, Q, Q3, Q4, um, you know, second sigma, second sigma, right? Uh, you know, but we're looking somewhere, it was swinging pre, put it this way, pre-market, it was swinging between seven and 15%. Now it's confirmed, you know, 10 to 30%. And it's probably gonna keep going higher uh, up until a certain point, then we'll know the ceiling and then we can then we can talk more, we'll understand more. But for now, I don't speculate, I read charts. It's way too early to tell. It's way too early to tell. But one thing I can see is that even in Bitcoin Cash, it's been tested and it bounced. So that's confirmation for you right there. Uh, so if we're going to do any type of speculation, I would say that is, you know, a line of growth, confirmed line of growth, right? Um, where, uh, I'm not good on this Bitrix thing at all. This is like painful. Yeah, dog. That's what. What is? It just keeps. It keeps drawing lines. Um, <laughs> it's going up. It's going up, and it's been tested, and it, it wants to draw more lines. I don't want to draw any more lines. It's been tested. It dropped, and now, as long as it stays above one six two then we have a confirmed bull market on Bitcoin Cash. Confirmation. Um, how long will it go? I don't know. Again, we only got about 17 candles here. Uh, but once we get a few days, a few weeks, then yeah, I'll be able to make some predictions and I'll be able to help you make a lot more money on the swing. But just pay attention to it. Understand that before it came out, it was trading between 7 and 15%. And now it's about two or three times that. So what does that tell you? That means the market likes it a lot more than what we thought it would. Think about supply and demand. A lot of people sold theirs at the open. Now wishing they didn't. I didn't sell none of mine. I don't plan on selling none of mine anytime soon. As far as I see it, this is free money. You know why it's free? Because y'all gave it back to the market for nothing. <laughs> and I kept it. So that's free money. Um, you know, and now Bitcoin is going down as a result. So that's it. That's that's my that's my uh that's essentially my speculative um, you know, that's as most speculation you're gonna get from me for a while. Um that's all I got. That's all I got. This is your first time tuning in. Um, this is a, a higher level 
conversation that I that I try to have. Um, if you're in the chat right now, let's do let's do this. I know you know we got a lot of emotions out there, a lot of people, a lot of people, Mercury retrograde, right? A lot of people talking crazy. Just do me a favor, clean it up, keep it positive. Just know we here to make money and we go always make money together. Uh, do me a favor, real quick. If you're in the chat, shout your country out. I'll be coming to you in about two and a half minutes. Uh, if this is your first time tuning in, uh, congratulations, baby. You are now rocking with the best. I am the boss of these charts. I realize this is sloppy, this is chaotic, but guess what? That's growing pains. That's what's happening. But the beautiful thing about it is you are in on the ground floor. And the only way you can see the view from the penthouse is you got to be there in the basement when the framework is built. And that's exactly where we're at right now. So just understand that moving moving forward, uh, understand how the market works, understand the different psychologies, understand who the players are so you can understand how to win. That is the biggest thing that we talk about. How do we win? You know, T-E-A-M, team, together, everyone achieves more. Bam. And we all playing for the money team. You know what I'm saying? So do me a favor. If you're in the chat right now, shout your country out. You got about two and a half uh, minutes and we coming back to you. This is our Facebook group. It's called the number one Bitcoin group in the world, hosted by yours truly. Again, we had uh, 4,000 new members this month. It's really, really amazing. This is a new little tool Facebook put together for me. I think they recognize I'm one of the biggest groups on here, so they threw me you know, some group insight. Uh, 6,000 total members, uh, 38,000 uh, reactions. What does that even mean? I don't know. Um, let's see, it gave me something else. Um, if we type this, oh, growth details. Yeah, so just, you know, even this month, you know, 1,700 posts, right? 5,000, that's what I wanted to show, 5,000 active members in this month. That's pretty amazing, right? That means we're not just sitting around, you know, looking at it. It means people are actually reading, responding, reacting, learning, supporting, profiting. That's what we want right there. That's that's really, really, really cool. So again, the doors are always open. This is called the number one Bitcoin group in the world. In addition to that, um, I put this uh, website together, bossofbitcoin.com. Uh, please bear with me. It's it's the bare bones right now. It's just you know more or less a, a front page for the community. I'll be building it out over the next few weeks. Um, but one of the things we do have available and accessible for everybody, two items uh, for you to purchase if you choose. The first is called the Profit Package. What is this? Uh, this is a hand-selected list of the top 10 cryptocurrencies on the market uh, as the way I see them uh, breaking out over the next few weeks. Um, you know, again, I've 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 had about a decade and a half experience in the financial market. You know, three letters behind my name from you know one of the most prominent universities in the world, and now I've developed uh, and patented a a a uh, a uh, forecasting method that I give it to you guys for free. Uh, so one of the ways I'm able to supplement that and and you know pay to pay pay the light bill just to just keep this computer computer running, uh, fifteen dollars at a time profit package. You know. I haven't had one complaint. A lot of people made a lot of money on it. And if you would like to as well, uh, that's your opportunity to do so. It's only going to be on sale, guys. I'm probably only going to have this thing on sale for a few more days. I think I wanted to give you a couple couple days after a fork uh, just to really understand, shake out all the emotions. Um, but yeah, it's it's solid. It's, it's my hand. I, I actually just bought a few of the coins on here today. I use it as a very good uh, flag in the ground to understand the market and understand how to make money. Uh, second thing, if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me, I have uh, you know meetings every day with people all over the world. Uh, just put on, uh, get this in your card. It's twenty-five dollars. Uh, sets up, confirms one hour uh, for you. Then it will send you a link to uh, my personal calendar. which looks like this. So for example, if you wanted to get together, you know, Wednesday uh, evening, say, you know, or Friday, Friday morning, you know, have coffee with your boy, 9.30 Friday morning, bam, you set it up like that, put your information in, you know, we'll do a video, Skype, Google Hangouts, whatever, go over some charts, you know, make some, make some money together. That's the biggest thing. So again, if you want to chat, shout your country out, we coming back to you right now. Um, and again, man, just understand where the money coming from till death do we part. We got two players in this game right now, you know, so just understand that and understand how you go be profitable and we go keep it moving. Right. 
So again, let's see. Let's see where our people are right now. Um, let's see. So who we got in the building? Shout your country out. Here we go. So we got Australia, ATL, Dirty Jersey, Washington, USA, Texas, right? Uh, BK the GOAT. What's up, baby? I see you. I see you. Republic, Cali, America, um, Republic of Texas, Mama Africa. That's right. Arizona, big Stanford, Sean Pond holding it down in Stanford. What's going on, man? I say what's up to you every day. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. James G out of Cleveland, Ohio. I'm gonna wrap it up on that, man. I'm, I see somebody from the land. James G, hit me up on uh, hit me up on Facebook, man. I'm I'm from Cleveland, Bedford, Ohio, born and raised, baby. Two one six till I die, you know. Um, and with that being said, we do this every day again with so much emotion, so much you know confusion. Um, Mercury is in retrograde. So with, with all of the energy uh, in the universe, allow some to manifest and be positive, be, be you know, an outlet for, uh, you know, uh, resonance in the universe. Um, that, that will be our biggest opportunity with this. The more of those we have, the better. That being said, it's that time of the day, no matter where you stay, from Brazil to the Bay in California, all the way out to Germany. Good night, good morning, and good day. Uh, till we meet again, stay cryptic, y'all. Peace.